Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE and today I will show you how you can put this device into recovery mode. Now, for this, we will need a cable and a computer because we need to have it complicated, it's Samsung after all. Um, so, once you have that prepared, we can then turn off our device, so swipe down to find the power button because obviously power button isn't working like a power button and then you want to select power off. Now when the device turns off, I recommend placing the cable in the like charging port, just not plugging it all the way. So it's kind of just loosely in here. And the reason for that is because we first need to start holding our power button and volume up at the same time. So I'm going to do that right now. And when I start holding them, I'll then plug in the cable. Once I position my hand in a comfortable way, there we go. So it is plugged in. It will show up with a galaxy, as you can see. So once you see that, you can let go of the power button, but keep holding volume up. And once recovery mode shows up, we can unplug the cable because uh, it was only needed to be agitating and boot us into here and has no actual purpose outside of that. Now, when you're in this mode, recovery mode precisely, you will need to use your volume buttons to navigate either up or down depending on which one you'll press and the power button will be used to confirm whatever is selected. Now going over the options that we have access to, we have reboot system now which basically brings us back to Android, reboot to bootloader which does nothing, just boots the device back up, we have apply updates from ADB or SD card, we have wipe data, basically a factory reset of the device, wipe cache partition, mount system, view logs, run tests and power off or repair the apps. And just to kind of demonstrate this, you can see that's how it navigates. And when you press power button, it will confirm the selected options, which in my case was the reboot system now, which brings me back to Android. And as you can see, we are now back in Android. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.